No, that's not what happened at all. What are you smoking, dude? By now, I think all of us know that you're supposed to abide by the number one rule of content creators. Don't read the comments. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't really help very much because you want to talk in the comments, you want to interact with people, you want to be able to spread the word that your channel exists, so you kind of have to participate in at least some comments until you're a big creator, in which case you don't have to do anything. Oh well, I'm not a big creator. A hockey team hired a contracting company, and that contracting company hired an employee. The employee was headed to work for the first day and was fired. Why? Because he had worked on the Trump campaign in the past. Yes, no other reason. The National Hockey League forced this contracting company to fire this person simply because of the fact that they had been on the Trump campaign's team. They had been doing paid work for the Trump campaign. So where you work, apparently, can get you fired in the future. Anyway, I don't agree with this kind of thing, so I decided to leave a comment. I said, sounds like the NHL is going to have to learn the hard way that alienating half of their fans isn't a good business decision. And normally a comment like this doesn't really get much response. It's just sort of, it's not a good idea to tell half the people that watch your stuff that you don't want them around. That's pretty much it. That's the end of it. Except it wasn't. This comment was left in response, deleted, and then reposted under another account with a similar name that said, You can really tell what a negative impact such a move has had for the NFL, NBA, and Major League Baseball. Player contracts continue to soar to new heights and all leagues are doing great despite the pandemic. More like learn the easy way, am I right? No. That's not what happened at all. What are you smoking, dude? NFL ratings tanked. NBA ratings dropped due to virtue signaling. Major League Baseball ratings dropped. We all know the NFL ratings dropped because of wokeness. That's pretty easy to figure out because we know that the NFL has been doing this thing, Colin Kaepernick, and it sort of ballooned. The NFL wokeness thing was big news. I don't think you need much more than that, but there's a picture on the screen, just in case you don't know about that. Uh, yeah, NFL in 2020. But what about baseball? The 2020 World Series broke the record for the least watched World Series of all time. That's really depressing. When I was growing up, I remember a lot of people in my family were baseball fans, and the World Series was a big deal to a lot of them. I mean, the World Series was a big deal in general because baseball's kind of considered to be America's game. So for America to say, well, we don't care about baseball anymore, that's, that's pretty scary. Gee, huh. the worst of all time? Maybe you should do something about that, like look at why it was the worst of all time. Why did the least number of people of all time watch this World Series, despite the population being at an absolute all-time high in the country? Oh, wokeness, ya took me baseball. Now something really interesting is that NBA ratings for the 2020-2021 season so far are pretty good. but. Let's look at the article for that. Let's talk about these ratings being pretty good. NBA TV ratings soar, and if you look at the content, one of the first things mentioned is teams boycotting games, and fans getting tired of politics, and the ratings going down. There you go. What happened in 2020 was the NBA good old basketball decided that it was a good idea to follow in the NFL's footsteps and do some stupid woke virtue signaling garbage that the fans don't care about. They decided to shove politics down the throat of fans who are trying to engage in escapist activity, namely watching their games. It didn't go over very well. So what's happening then and now is the fans got tired of the politics. Then, 2021's rolling over, we're getting a new season. The fans are hoping that there won't be a bunch of politics. See, sports are seasonal, politics are seasonal, the election's over. So fans might gravitate back. 
It makes sense. Maybe they won't be political douchebags this time. I doubt it, but we'll see. The point is that the ratings being good right now, that's temporary until they decide to pull the political crap again. So let me show you something very interesting that relates to all of this. While I was doing my research for this, I found an article that discusses this situation and tries to say that, no, it's not politics, it's not wokeness that caused the massive drop in ratings, it's a bunch of other stuff too. And that's partly true. But guess what? The poll that they used to substantiate this claim actually substantiates the claim that wokeness smacked down sports pretty good. While this key fact section in this article makes a bunch of separate claims, 35% uh, of respondents declared that concerns over coronavirus were the problem, I actually looked, boom, at the poll results and analysis. So what I found is that if I look at the coronavirus section of this report, the coronavirus caused about a third of all demographics of all sports to be less likely to watch. If you look at all sports, and the question is, speaking out on political issues, did that make you stop watching sports? People said they were more likely in about the tw low 20%. People said they were less likely in the 30%. The only exception was basketball fans who were kind of split evenly. So basketball fans are an anomaly there. But notably, basketball fans were one of the groups that was slightly more likely to not watch basketball because of fear of the coronavirus. So we can kind of assume that basketball fans suffer from a little bit more woke-itis as it is. Anyway, what was interesting to me is that this definitely confirms that a significant portion of sports fans chose not to watch sports because of wokeness. Yeah, coronavirus had a bigger impact. That's true. But that's true for anything. But we have confirmation that at least 10% of pretty much every sport decided that they were just gonna not bother because of the politics alone. Pile that on top of a coronavirus pandemic that's causing people to check out as it is, that's a big chunk. So if 30 something percent stop watching just because of coronavirus, that means that you're taking 10%, but you've already gotten down to 70%. One-seventh of all fans stopped watching because of woke garbage. That's not good for business. And it looks like the National Hockey League is going to be next to find that out. If they're going to be woke, good riddance. Don't bother watching them. Go do something else. Be someone who does instead of someone who watches. Especially when watching supports these woke scumbags. Have a good night morning i don't know if you live in australia do you what am i doing you can't talk to me through the camera good whatever time it is take care